loves, I have my Birch Box for October and I have my Ipsy bag for October. So I'm going to open them both up on camera, show you what I got, and see which one I like better. I am going to do Birch Box first. As we know, Birch Box is $10 a month. You get it every month. I've been getting it for a while. I'm kind of hooked on it. But I do have a love-hate relationship with it for sure. And one of my deals with it lately, like my little crabby cranks that I have about it, like just to, you know, just to be a little brat, is that you're able to choose a product that goes into your box every month. And every time I get the email, every single option is completely gone. And I check it like within an hour of receiving the email. Sometimes I think last... This month it was within an hour, last month it was within like 10 or 20 minutes and it was completely gone. So it's kind of like pointless to even get those emails. I'm sure it works for some people, but for me it's not so not happy about that. So I don't know what's in here because I just, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat is very parched. But I didn't make a choice because I really didn't have anything to make a choice with. Like I think there was one option and I didn't care for it. So I was like, I'm going to leave it alone and see what I get. Anyways, it says, obsessed, addicted, can't get enough, hold my calls. The little card, I appreciate this little card that Birchbox does have that tells you all of the products and how much it costs and a little bit about it. I like when the subscription boxes do that. So I have that there. I have another thing here that says, what's your obsession? Fill in the front of this card and include it. When you share your box on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, five people will win 1,000 Birchbox points worth $100. So that's kind of cool. Sorry, not sorry. I'm playing with the products and binge watching. So I might do that. I will put that aside. Now in the box. Open it up. Pink paper. Cute little box as always. Little chevron print inside. Yada yada. Okay. We have Miracle Skin Transformer Miracle Mud. Reviving Mud Treatment Mask. I love masks. I have a lot of them, but I love them, so I, I never get enough of them. What does it say about it over here? Let's find it. Do I see it? No, nope, it's a bonus. This is the bonus product. It's a Miracle Revival Mud. It unclogs pores, firm skin, and evens tone. The full size is $38. It's just a little sample packet from Sarah McNamara. Sarah McNamara. And it is a quarter ounce. So that's nice. That's a nice little bonus. All right, we have Vicente, is that how you say it? Vicente Detox Nutrient Rich Purifying Facial Cleanser. So I am, have plenty of facial cleanser that I use on my own. So this is, I mean, it's cute. It'll be good for traveling, I guess. Well, not really, because I don't like to try new things when I'm traveling, just in case. But anyways, it says Detox Nutrient Rich Purifying Facial Cleanser for full size, $24. It's a foamy, sulfate-free wash, gently removes... Pore clogging impurities without over drying. Morning and night massage into damp skin for all skin types. So I guess I will try that. Let's see if it has a nice smell. Mm, just a regular face wash smell, nothing spectacular. Now we have two little hair products here. So they're, I guess, a nice travel size. They're kind of like the size that you would purchase for travel. It is Tony and Guy. So we have Nourish Conditioner and we have Cleansing Shampoo. So the Cleansing Shampoo, where are we here, is right here. Let's smell it. See if it smells good, Tony. It smells nice. It smells very unique, actually. That's a really nice smell. Something I don't even know how to explain that, but it's for damaged hair. It's a cleansing shampoo, especially cleanser for battle-worn strands that gently repair, softens, and strengthens. $13 for a full size. So that sounds like something that I would like, unless, is there, is there sulfates in it, though? That's it. Yes, sodium so No, I... The sulfates really, really destroy my hair, so that's kind of a bummer. But the conditioner, I guess I'll use. For damaged hair, it's a hair repairing hydrator designed to restore strands to the peak of health. $15 for full size of this. Let's see what that smells like. Pretty much the same. It's thick. So, eh, so far, not so thrilled. And we have this little pouch in here like we always have. <clears throat> I've said it a million times. We have boxes and boxes with Birch Box. And yeah, I got this little tiny. And this was my only option that was left. When, so I guess it didn't matter if I picked or not. I got the only option left. Is this tiny little Lord and Perry Sparkling Black 
mini liner and it is sparkly I guess let's see yep definitely sparkly see the sparkle I have a million black eyeliners it's kind of tiny like my pinky size so maybe I'm just being a little Debbie Downer today but I, if I was able to choose this that would be one thing but they had Mally lip glosses they had so many awesome things and I just feel like it's kind of scammy like I've been a member long enough where I should really be able to pick what I want, but I got that little eyeliner. Okay, whatever. And then the last thing in here is a original nipple balm for lips. A nipple balm. Am I reading this right? I, I'm reading it right. It's a nipple balm for lips. Okay. Dr. Lip. Just so you, you don't think I'm like screwing with you. I don't know. Maybe you guys all know about this. Maybe this is so... Uh, okay. Uh, I'm a mom. Okay. It's originally made for nursing moms. I'm a mom. So, yeah. Original nipple balm for lips. Full size is $14.50. Okay. The full size also of the Lord & Perry glitter eyeliner in black is $18. It just says it's a blendable pencil from the UK brand. It's studded with a bit of silver glitter. So, Okay. Anyways, back to our nipple balm for lips. It's originally made for nursing moms. It's an ultra hydrating balm. It's a makeup artist favorite. You dab it on to parched lips, cuticles, and elbows as needed. So I guess that's kind of interesting. Let's see here. It's sealed. That's always nice. Open it up and let's see, very thick. No smell. Let's see. Whatever. It's like really microscopic. It's 0.1, it's 3 mLs, 0.1, I don't know. It's odorless and kissable and it, it's cute. It's neat. I guess I've never heard that and that's kind of nice. All right. I don't know. What do you think about that? Maybe I'll be canceling my, um, maybe I'll be canceling my birch box. This is going to be a long video. Hopefully you enjoy it and you've made it through. And not talking to myself, but if I am, it's fine too, because I enjoy talking to myself. So, um, Ipsy bag. <clears throat> like I said, October. Oh, we have something in here. This is nice. Ecru. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me take a sip, please, of my coffee, if you don't mind. Sorry. Don't kill me. Okay. A cot. Acai. I don't even know. Protein BB cream. This is one full ounce. So I, this looks like a full size product. And I didn't even get into the bag yet, and I'm already happy. So I think, um, Ipsy's kind of kicked Birchbox ass this year. I mean, this month. Hello. Excuse my French if you don't like swearing. I, I very much apologize. Not really. I'm sorry, but not sorry. Protein BB cream. Oh, it's for hair. It's BB cream for hair. So, okay, maybe I got too excited too quick. But that is kind of neat. It's a light, versatile, all-in-one styling lotion that harnesses the moisturizing and protective power of uh, something collagen. You put it onto hair, work it through damp hair. Let's see what it smells like. Sealed again, I'll open it up. Why not? It smells like anything else. There's nothing, no special smell. Okay, whatever. Let's get into this bag now. We have the little card. I think it's adorable. I have nothing wrong with, you know, pretty YouTubers and a little message, but I wish that they explained, like, the products. I think they used to. This bag is, I saw someone else haul it and they weren't impressed with it. I don't know. What do you think? Sorry for the lighting, it's a rainy day, but it's like this teal. It's coming off a little darker than it is. I don't know. I don't know. Here we have, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't even know. I'm not, not going to try to pronounce it, okay? I'm just going to, there you go. It is a purifying exfoliant. So we have another face wash thing. Is this sealed? This is sealed too. I'm not going to open this because I have too many, really too many face washes open right now. And I guess it's an exfoliant. I'll try it out. I don't know anything about it because they don't give any papers with anything. And this was the item that I got. The Mineralized Baked Powder Eyeshadow by Jessie's Girl in purple. <clears throat> so there was like a bunch of different, they had like previews this month. 
of all this really cool stuff. I would have been happy with almost all of it. And I'm not, like, not saying I'm not happy with this. This is a nice, like, big, sturdy. It's actually for Jessie's Girl. They did good with the packaging. I like Jessie's Girl for inexpensive makeup. I think it's great. But it was probably the least, the last thing I would have wanted from what they had. And, of course, that's what I get. So I'm not really pleased with either one of these. I'm going to be honest. I usually am more thrilled, and maybe I'll end up finding a product in here I like, and that happens sometimes with bags that I'm not so thrilled about. I'll end up finding something in there that I just wasn't thrilled about to begin with, but it works really well for me, and I end up loving it. So, let's just see. I ended up getting this, and um, I was hoping for so much more. There was a couple things I really wanted. I can't think of them offhand. It's nice and smooth. Oh, the color is very pretty. That color is totally me. Let's swatch this. Let me do. Really nice. Very pretty. So, you know what? Maybe that will... Actually, I really do... I gotta say, that color's gorgeous. That's one of those colors that I love for my lid. So, no mirror or anything, but the packaging is super sturdy. I gotta say, I, I, I do like Jessie's Girl. It's, it's... Not all of the stuff is fantastic, but it really is good quality for a good price. So, yeah, it's just... It doesn't have a color, does it? I don't see a color. Yes, it is. Plum Frost. So, that's Plum Frost. Okay, let me not dwell on that for too long. This video is getting long. I have, last thing is a Roseberry hand cream. I heard someone not like this, like the packaging. I think the packaging is cute, but of course me, I love tacky, so um, maybe it's tacky and that's that's why I like it, because I just love tacky. I'm definitely going to open this. I love hand creams, so I'm happy with the hand cream. I am not going to lie. I love hand creams. I love little ones like this for my purse. I think it's adorable. Let me rub it in and smell it. It feels like a lotion, not like a cream, but it's nice. And it has a nice... It has a nice light florally scent, so that's definitely a plus. And okay, this star looks a little nude. Star looks guilty pleasure nude lip gloss. And that I am, I'm, I'm, I'm digging this one. I like this color a lot. I like star looks. I have never tried a lip gloss. I do have a few of their eye pencils. That there, It just seems to be like very good quality. And the price is not, it's not overly expensive. It's not like Chanel expensive. It's like Smashbox expensive, if you get what I'm saying with that. So let's just, you know what, I'll put this on my lips. I don't know if you'll see it. Oh, it, it feels really nice. So you can't see it on this camera, obviously. It's a very, very pretty color. And the texture is really nice. It's coming up a little bit more pink. It's a little bit more nude than it's coming up but it's, it's really gorgeous. So. That I'm very happy with. There's no glitter in it. It's not sticky at all. It doesn't have any, any scent, really. Maybe a light, very, very light like vanilla scent or something. I really like this. This is cute. It's small, but it's cute. I'm going to definitely probably be using that up because I'm kind of loving that color. And, um... So yeah, actually, yep, Ipsy, Ipsy won this month. So what do you think? Who do you think won? I'm happy with everything. For $10, it's not bad for either one. They are both $10 a month. I just always am more happy with Ipsy because you get the bag on top of it. Some people don't like their bags, but I just find them to be handy. Traveling, like I'll use these if I wanted. If I'm traveling with some nail polish, I'll throw a couple nail polishes in here and put it in my bag. And I like just things like that. Or even just if I give a little gift or I send something, I can always put it in there and send it. It's just cuter than just wrapping it up. So there's always something you can do with the Ipsy bags if you don't like them. I personally like them. I've given a few away, and I have a bunch of them on my own. I like Birchbox, too. Like I said, I'm usually happy with something in there after I try it, but this month's really kind of not made me too thrilled. So I hope you have made it this far, and if you have, please subscribe. If you are not already subscribed, thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me, and I will see you later. Bye!